Incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Good day. Good day. How are you? Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problems of civilizing nomads. Uh, tell me, sir, are you from Norse stock? Not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. My father was Scottish. Hmm, unfortunate. Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of natural population characteristics. Really? Well, yes. A, a white man, obviously, but 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 with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility, but also simple, uh, pure. Uh, I've been looking at some blood samples through my microscope, and, and you know what? No. Oh, well, of course you don't. It's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age, and you know what? Again, no. They're exactly the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Uh, would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? I've quite enough for two. Not right this minute, no. Oh, it's such a remarkable drug. It entirely restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> Oh, oh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on, uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers or, or, or skin a rabbit? <clears throat> I know we cannot see the stars, but still my heart is pure and we meet as equals. These savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. <laughs> no, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh, lovely. <laughs> but I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch Vanderlyn based? in the hills, in Cochine. Let's go. I know a way there that is not guarded. Uh, marvelous, <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Time to do our bit for humanity, Mr. Marston. Come, let's hurry. Stay close. Come on. So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderland. You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no. What is it with you people out here? No, Vanderland fascinates me. A white man living among natives. A civilized mind turned savage. It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation. Uh, I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your unique history with the man, although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. <sighs> Robin Hood, Oedipus, communist, tale of naivete, tale, if I remember correctly. We ran in a gang together, Professor. I wouldn't try to read too much into it. It's my job to read too much into everything here, boy.
right way. Yes, sir. It's rather dark. Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. Come I am with the mind, Mr. Martin. It's this way, mister. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. Me? Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk me through this primal emotion, where it's coming from. Don't worry about it, Professor. Remarkable. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> well, well, anyway, I'm sure Nastas will help you. I must be on my way. I, I've got work to do. Thanks for the help. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up. See if you can find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. I think there's a path through this cave. Good. This should save us some time. This way.
I'm hurt pretty bad. I don't think you should go any further. I'll be fine. But you go ahead. I don't want to slow you down. You sure you're all right? Just need to take it slow. Go on. I'll catch up or see you on the way down. Don't worry about me. Go look for Vanderlyn. Good luck. That's a good price. <laughs> Thank you. 
Mr. Marston? Mr. Marston! Mr. Marston! Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You banged your head. Nastas and I carried you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, Nastas uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters before this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. Oh, sure, it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Uh, then again. <laughs> Ain't it that rascal, Mr. Terrible Marshall? lady. You're a scourge, sir. Good day. That cougar tore that preacher a new arm, too. Excuse me, miss. Something wrong? Does it look like something's wrong? Well, you look kind of upset about something. Perhaps you don't understand what it's like to be disgraced as a woman. To have people gossip about you and turn from you in disgust day after day. People can be real unkind, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm Clara. I used to be a nanny for a family here in Blackwater. The father, he was always so charming. My fool that I was fell for him. Mrs. Thornton, his wife, kicked me out on the street as soon as I started showing. Mr. Thornton turned to drink. Not even a farewell for a dollar. So I have nothing. They will surely take my baby from me. Perhaps you could find the dissolute bastard. Get even a few dollars for me and my baby to find a home. I would be so grateful, sir. I'll see what I can do.
Mr. Marston. Hey there. I'm so sorry, sir. Excuse me. You know a girl named Clara? Michelle? Was she one of the waitresses around here? No, she was a servant at your house. And the only servant we had was that wee darky girl, Sarah. And she left to join her people up north. <sighs> no, she helped raise your children. You and her had an intimacy of sorts. Look here, laddie. I'm not sure what you're accusing me of. I'm just here to enjoy the tables. Not to hear expressions against my character. I understand you want to keep this quiet. Just give me a few dollars so she can set up a modest household for her and the child. You out of your mind, laddie, or are you just a common criminal? A nerve, are you? You think you can blackmail me or insult me over this piffle? You, outside, no. Doc Purvis, sure. How clumsy of you. These cards are ready for your hand. Yes. Good to see you.
want to know about you. Down in I do. know what I saw Joe Strange buying off of China. Hey, you're that guy who killed me. How are you doing? Now I have heard it all. Hey, killer, come on. What are you waiting on? I feel like putting an end to someone today. How's about you and me engaging a fair and impartial action to it? For a more intimate means of killing you, but this lead-based method may suffice. No. Where you're gumption sure. at? It's gentlemen. your funeral. Mr. Marston, good to see you. Hello there. If we don't have it, frankly, you don't need it. Okie dokie. That should do it.
What a pleasant surprise, Mr. Marston. An informant just told us some interesting news. Our mutual friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, is about to pay call on his bank manager. What do you say to having a little financial discussion with the fellow? This way. Let's get up on the roof. We'll have a clear shot at them from there. That door is the only way in and out of the building, so cover it tight. Do you see those horses to the left by the building across the street? Dutch's boys hitched them there. They'll have to run that way to make their escape. Don't start shooting until they're out in the open. If we spook them, they might retreat back and hole up inside. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Keep your sights trained on that bank door. I got this badge for a reason. Don't shoot till I give you the signal. Someone's coming out. He's unarmed. Hold your fire. They shot him dead. They're coming out. Gun them down. Get into the bank with Hopkins and Manny. Get Dutch. Be careful. There may be some innocent people there. We can take them! Come on, let's get in there! This way! 
Shoot the lock off that door! Let's go! Watch out for hostages! Someone might as well have this. Oh, Don't just stand there. Get over here. Come on. Damn Let's get in things. there. It's nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. I ain't seen her for a while. Because you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? 15? 16? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint, but equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch, by making compromises we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. No! God damn! Come on! We can catch him if we hurry! I don't see him! What the hell happened in there? This is your fault, Marston! You got a gun too, Sheriff. You waited too long. Next time, I'll just shoot the girl. That's enough. Come on, let's find the bastard.
Let's just say, Dutch ain't gone and got himself saved. He killed some poor woman. There's an old logging camp further down this road. It's been abandoned for years. My guess is that's where they're headed. Come on, follow me. So that's the great Dutch? What a role model. The man who made you who you are. I guess so. Has he changed? No, still the same crazy bastard he turned into. How was it seeing him after all this time? Was on your heartstrings? It kind of reminds me of you. A violent piece of shit who went and confused himself with God. Isn't that sweet of you? And now you must kill him. Your side is chosen. My side ain't chosen. My side was given. I'd kill you a hundred times before I killed Dutch. If it was an option. Hallelujah. I think we're finally reaching an understanding, Mr. Marston. Look, that's Dutch's car. Hurry, can't have that far. Go there. You'll be needing this. Where's Dutch, Marston? He got away. Uh, scared to shoot him? Too much to handle? When the opportunity presents itself, I'll put a bullet in him, don't you worry. Won't like myself for doing it, but I'll do it. Ah, good man, good man. You know, at the end of this, you'll probably get a medal. I know I shall. Dirty. 